in this segment, uh, what I, I have multiple shows. One of them is focused. Well, actually, I do a segment every every week with uh, the iHemp folks. That's how I met Jeff Cole. Mm-hmm. And of course, we do the Michigan Marijuana Report on uh, Wednesdays. And there's sort of a bleed over into this is my tech show uh, where we talk about what goes on with business in general and technology in particular. But I thought this was kind of interesting that I wanted to introduce it to this audience that Jeff and Tony and, I, and of course, Chelsea keeps everything running. Uh, they are developing wood based, excuse me, a hemp based products that look like wood. I can do it. Um, and, and one of them that I've seen, I don't know if you have it, either of you have it with is the, uh, the hemp wood putter. Do either of you have that prop? I see Chelsea Tony probably has that prop. I do. I just need to run and grab it. Okay. Uh, well, that's right. It's not that important. Uh, point, point it's, being it's, is it's not far. Yeah. Um, <laughs> if, all right. If you want to grab that, I'll, I'll just go ahead and quiz yeah. Jeff here after sure. a bit. Uh, we do have some hemp product that we can show and tell. And in fact, uh, Chelsea has that to show, but please go ahead and ask your questions and let's get some, uh, some conversation going around hemp wood. One yeah, of my favorite. So this is actually the reason I think I can throw this into this show. It's really a technology kind of thing. It's just a different okay. way of looking at hemp. Hemp's been mm-hmm. around forever, millennia. And in the farm bill in 2018, everybody was allowed to illegally grow hemp again, which is crazy. I don't know why it was ever stopped, but one of them things. And so, but when people think of hemp, they think of CBD or they think of something along those lines, uh, animal feed perhaps, which is coming as well. But I don't think a lot of people realize that you can use hemp for building materials for uh, what you guys are doing. For instance, our good friend, Dave Crable is making hemp based frisbees for instance and you guys are doing all sorts of stuff why don't you talk a little bit about what that is that you're doing jeff yes absolutely and and you know tony and i do have a strategic partnership and we work very very closely together through programs that involve hemp wood as well as and in some cases especially hemp plastic so you know i don't want to steal some of tony's you know thunder on this but i'll I'll give a preface and then Tony can kind of layer in some of the details for sure. So the U.S. Hemp Brokerage, as you know, Mike, um, is a company that's set up to sell hemp across four major divisions. Those four major divisions encompass most industrial, commercial industrial uh, applications of hemp. So we're in the midst of shifting from a fossil fuel-based economy to a bio-based economy, and hemp happens to be, you know, this is a big reason why we all work in it, happens to be the most sustainable bio material that we can utilize. And it also so happens that the foundation, literally the very foundation of our country is based on the hemp crop. So the applications that we're endeavoring are really replacing all kinds of things that are associated more with the fossil fuel-based industrial economy and shifting more toward that bio-based economy. So the wood, for instance, that, that we're talking about is literally branded as a manufactured wood product called hemp wood. It's manufactured by Hemp Wood of Kentucky, Greg Wilson, who is a very good friend of ours and a close associate and so what we do is we utilize go ahead mike uh, i was just going to say tony you have to for the camera to come to you you have to say something and you're muted there so why don't you unmute real quick and then while jeff's talking you can show that club real quick uh, or excuse me the putter i think right yep well yes, i'm gonna sir. wrap up my, i'm gonna wrap up my part of it here just pretty, yeah, pretty quick so because what we're doing is replacing other material with hemp, we're focused in areas where we can make the biggest difference and where we can do the most good for ourselves and our communities, and especially the overall hemp markets. So utilizing hemp into wood-based products, we're going into things like, like our strategic partnership initially, and Tony, you can address this, is really focused on all of these different outdoor recreation type products which are made of hemp wood as well as hemp plastic. So Tony, how about if you, 
show that hempwood putter. Yeah, you got to talk for Maybe the camera see. to come to you, Tony. So, okay, Mike. So the original idea was hempwood. Okay, great. Let's talk about potentially impacting commoditized lumber. And then what is hempwood good for? Well, we've proven that it's great for flooring, that it's cost competitive, that it's made in the USA, that it's formaldehyde free. What else can you do with it? You can make a world of things. I'm very particular to playing golf. I've always been competitive because of the grain pattern and being a woodworker myself. I said, great, let's see if we can make a mainstream recreation product out of this material. And it actually worked right out of the gate. And so this is the original hempwood putter right here with a certificate of authenticity and an NFT. And it'll be on display at various different retailers. We just had it this weekend at the big USHB event where we were at Indian Peaks Golf Course with the Colorado Department of Agriculture all around the same mm. concept. So hempwood is a primary discipline. It dovetails right into the exact lifestyle of our outdoor recreation, especially in Colorado. So it speaks volumes for itself. We've also proven that you can make a baseball bat. Hmm. So the furniture, they have some amazing examples there at the office. Chelsea can even grab some of these phenomenal hemp wood pens that are on par with Mont Blanc in terms of quality and craftsmanship. No doubt about that. Chelsea, could you hold up some of that for us? Yeah, please? you're going to have to say yeah. something too, Health Chelsea. Um, yep, I've got three pens here. We'll get a little closer. This one's yep. a purple, purple stained hemp wood, as well as a kind of a tealish, greenish yeah. color. Yeah. And then I've got just a, you know, basic unstained hemp wood pen. Now, these pens are really awesome. They write really well, they have a good weight to them. They're beautiful. That pen is my favorite pen that I've ever seen. So could I ask and I'm kind I mean, of a pen buff. That is, let me let me ask a quick question here. Um, hemp is a fibrous plant. Um, it is not something you can cut like a board of a tree or something like that. So how does one formulate wood out of the hemp fiber? What else do you do you add to it? So Greg is, Wilson would be the ideal individual to answer that question, but the simple answer is that it is compressed on different planes. And then obviously there's different types of cuts. I haven't actually been to the factory yet. That's next on the to-do list for me. But right now living in Southern California, the best thing I could do was figure out how to advance the interest of hemp wood in this market. So by working with flooring companies and home improvement companies and remodelers, you name it, cabinetry companies, demonstrating the capacity of this feedstock. So it's been amazing and people really love the, the, the grain pattern and what you can do with the different colors. So we're finding various different form factors that can be mainstream, but catering to more of the luxury type of product for starters, whether it's flooring or shiplap or wall accents that the you know, SunMed may remodel all 600 of their retail locations with or the putter, or even the hempwood guitar. And hopefully someday we'll get to bring that to Michigan. Mm. But all these things well, are Well, I think January is the time. We're going to be up there in January at the big event. So That's a good idea. Matt, if yeah. you play music, you want to play this thing? Absolutely. And okay. uh, I'm, I'm also looking at a kitchen remodel and uh, thinking how nice some of that wood would look in a cabinet, maybe. Oh, it would. Yes. We've got it for you for sure. Yeah. We definitely do. I want to add just a couple of points on to all, the, all of this. So, you know, Tony, you know, you're really addressing all that stuff just perfectly. It's awesome. And I just want to give a little bit of a sort of a marketing layer behind that. You know, where we are on the trend curve, which you guys always hear me talking about trend curves, but where we are on the trend curve is very low. So hemp wood being such a new material and being so useful like I've used it in all kinds of stuff already. I have picture frames, mirrors, uh, coffee table, end table, um, mm. literally uh, my exhibit, my big U.S. hemp brokerage exhibit, which we unveiled for the first time at the Southern Hemp Expo. That's all custom hemp wood, amazing stuff. But it's really meant at this particular point 
for a more luxury market or for a real affinity market, like for instance, golfing, like these putters, these are $799 retail. And some people just absolutely have to have them. It's that you easy. have them, you have but them in hemp for wood format, but you also have it in hemp plastic. Yes, you do. <laughs> so, now, so now, so now again, here we are with a material that's a new technological achievement and advancement and has direct commercial already applicable commercial value. And we're already working with these and making products that are, is currently serving a market that's an early adopter market. So what we need to do is do more of this and help the market expand. And the way that we have figured out best to do it is to just do it and then we'll show everybody. And that's what we're doing with hemp wood. And now Tony is gonna to show you the hemp plastics, which again, we are working with Dave Crabill and with others, both in Colorado and in Michigan. And our partnerships are true state level partnerships that we initiate and execute on behalf of hemp interests in Colorado and Michigan. In fact, I'll just point this out then Tony can get into hemp plastics, is that the two states that work the best together right now in the entire hemp industry are Michigan and Colorado. And we've got dozens of examples. And this is why I'm so actively involved in the hemp Michigan, the Michigan hemp market. And so is Tony. So Tony, you got to tell them about hemp plastics now, because that's so the cool the, stuff. The, the thing about me, Mike, I don't know if I've shared this in the past, but I'm originally from Colorado. And I started perfecting the science of natural fiber composites in conjunction with a biorefinery in Colorado, as well as the Colorado Department of Agriculture nearly 10 minutes ago. Got it. So now it has evolved to where, to where the, the best commercial resource as a strategic value added partner is in Detroit. So now that we have demonstrated this in terms of scalability, we've exhausted our capacity within the Midwest market. We've had to go back to the biorefinery in Colorado. We just moved 10,000 pounds of hemp fiber from Colorado that was refined to the compound. Yeah, baby. Go ahead, and oh, go ahead, Tony. We're using, we're blending 5,000 pounds of that with 100% certified post-consumer waste to demonstrate the viability of two forms of trash turned into cash that we can capitalize on by offering market viable products in different forms. And Michigan is the number one state for flying discs because it's home to disc craft. Hmm. Yeah, so they... Michigan because Michigan. There you go. All right, I might <laughs> add, uh, you can, you're gonna be able to see a lot of these products. I, I'm, uh... I'm not a member of IHEMP. I just do their show on Thursday, but I suppose I should join. But but they're going to be having their big Midwest conference at the end of January in Lansing, and I believe Tony and and uh, and, and Jeff will be there, and maybe even the lovely Chelsea. I don't know, but uh, we promise that it'll be nice and warm uh, in that uh, in Lansing Convention Center, and the hotel is attached to the convention center by a sky bridge. So hey, you got your, you're covered there. But point being is uh, you'll be able to see these products and learn more about hemp and. What little I do know, I'm no expert by any means. There's 20,000 uses for hemp, not to mention remediation. Uh, there's a, several projects going on in the Upper Peninsula where they're using hemp to remediate all the damage that the mining industry did up there. And it, it takes all that bad gunk out of the soil and sucks it into the plant and, and gets rid of it. And I know the city of Detroit is looking at that very thing because they have so many blighted properties. So lots of possibilities. But I'll let uh, well, both you know, of you... Mike, I just want to add to... Yeah. I'd like to add to that, that from a remediation standpoint, you know, it does even more than that. It actually helps control soil erosion and it aerates the soil. So it cleans the toxins, remediates the toxins, and then also stabilizes the soil. It's really phenomenal. Sorry yeah. to interrupt you. I did want to add that because it's so important up there. Oh, absolutely. And uh, of course, building materials, hempcrete, uh, Blaine Bechtold's always talking about uh, the hempcrete industry. It's very nascent right now, but it, it'll be building. Lots of other uses along building. But unfortunately, we're running out of time. So what I'm going to do now is, is uh, uh, Jeff and Tony, give your contact information to my audience. And so if they want to reach out and get more information, they can. Sounds yeah. good. Sounds good. Uh, Jeff Cole, you can always find us at ushempbrokerage.com. 
Very simple. You'll find all the contact info there, ushempbrokerage.com. And for iHemp Manufacturing, ihempmfg.com. Very simple. And that's Dave Crable, who's the president of iHemp Michigan, is your partner on that, right, Tony? Correct. We wish he could be here, but uh, I've been running with Dave this whole year, and it's never been better. Since I started digging into Michigan, things have grown by a factor of tenfold, and you know, big, big thank yous to everybody. 